Hey, Micah, it's John. Uh, up, you'd mentioned that uh, this still was a big game for you, uh, considering you never beaten him here and, and all of that. Uh, Boy, Diggs is a problem. I'm sorry, John. Let me just say this. Diggs is a problem. Man. Whew. What, all right, we'll start. Yeah, we'll start there. I mean, what is it like? <laughs> what? You know, them? you know, uh, I got a front row seat. Um, I got a free ticket to watch them play, man. It's, it's impressive to, to see them. You know, it's like they're playing Madden out there. Um, and they're just uh, they're gelling together, and it's, it's awesome to see. But I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to interrupt you. Diggs just walked in. No, no, no. That I, I like that. I'll, I'll stay right there. I, I mean, how have you seen it from that free ticket, that front row seat, get better and better as this season has gone on? You know, you know I, I've been fortunate enough to be on some pretty good, pretty good teams with, with uh, some very talented players. Um, I don't want you guys to think I'm, I'm comparing Josh to, to Aaron Rodgers. I, I'm not saying that. Um, you know, obviously, both both very talented players, and um, you know, Josh has a, a long way to go to to get the you know what he did. Aaron's been able to accomplish in the league, but, um, you know, watching the A-Rod and Jordy days, um, just the way they gelled together and just found each other, um, that's that's what it looks like out there. And, you know, it's, it's very impressive to see. Are you surprised at any point? I know we keep asking you that, I, but, I mean, he, he just they seem to be doing new and bigger and better things. No, no, I'm not, not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm just excited for him. I'm excited because, you know, obviously they're both getting the recognition they deserve and, um, just making a ton of plays. And then just finally, um, you had mentioned the New England game. This one still still meant a lot to you, considering how you haven't conquered this, beating them yeah. here. Uh, how satisfying was not only beating them, but, but beating them the way you guys did? Well, it was a big win. It's a big win for organization. Obviously, um, you know, sweeping them in the season. Uh, we knew it was going to be, uh, you know, a, a tough battle coming in. Obviously, you know, we took – we took a couple of little punches in the first quarter, first half. Um, we were able to sustain. Obviously, our offense moved the ball very well. Um, you know, we, we knew coming in that, you know, this is a, this is still a Bill Belichick coach football team that doesn't matter what the record is, what the, you know, it, it doesn't matter. They're going to come fighting. And, um, to get the win here is huge for, you know, this is my first win ever, ever coming here. Um, there's a lot of guys in the locker room that this is their first win, and um, it's a big, big win for our organization. Thanks a lot, Micah. Of course. Thank you, Josh. Hey, Micah, you talked about the offense's success tonight and how it was fun watching them on the field, but they wouldn't have been on the field so much if it wasn't for the defense and you guys. You guys allowed only nine points tonight and have allowed less than 20 in the last four of five games. What's your evaluation about how the defense has been playing since the end of November? Yeah, I think that we played we played well in the second half. Um, in the first half, we gave it we gave some big runs, some big plays that that uh, that's not us. Um, we had to we had to get corrected. Um, you know, I, me personally, I feel like I could have done better. I think everybody on defense feels the same way. Um, you know, just talking to them towards the end of the game, you know, everybody felt like they could have played better. And you know, obviously, giving up nine points is, is very good. But when you when you leave some plays out there, um, they had that, they had a couple. I think the uh, first drive of the game, they got a field goal, and then after that, they had another long drive and they put a touchdown on the board. And, um, you know, obviously, this the NFL. They're gonna. You gotta have respect for for the other team's offense and what they're able to do. But uh, at, the, at the same time, we left some plays out there. What is it about this defense and and how you're able to stop teams on third down and get off the field quickly? You guys were four of twelve tonight. Allowed uh, New England to only convert on third third down four times. What what is your mood when you get to third downs? Well, I think that number one, we're gelling together um, in the right time. I think that um, you know, these guys on this defense have been together for three plus years, um, and so we've had a lot of ball together. So that's that's one thing, just gelling together. But but two, you got to give it to the coaches, man. They 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 uh, they know their guys on defense now. We know our identity on on you know first, second down, third down, and from there we're able to you know pin our ears back and the guys up front get after the quarterback and you know, us in the back end got to find a way to to to, to lock down. Um, you know, the opposing receiver. So I think everybody's working together. Um, Rush is working with the coverage, coverage working with the Rush. And, and from there, you're able to make plays. And then lastly, how about Matt Milano and his day leading the team in tackles? He looked like he was back to full strength tonight. Um, you know, that's that no one's surprised by, by what Milano was able to do. Um, that boy's a beast. He's sideline to sideline can cover, um, had two huge. 
um, third down stops. That was really good tackles just um, on, on some really good players. I think it was James White in the flat, which you see a lot. You know, uh, Tony is able to make guys miss. So, um, you know, two huge, huge tackles. I think one was on that uh, speed option. They they, uh, they schemed us on, and Matt made a hell of a play. So, you know, that's that's what uh, Milano is able to do for our defense. And um, when, when he's making plays like that, we're going to for sure – um, be a lot better. Thanks, Micah. Of course. Hey, Micah, it's Jay with the Buffalo News. How you doing? What's up, Jay? I'm good. How you doing? Good, buddy. Um, Micah, you guys are one sort of Hail Murray completion away from a nine-game winning streak. When you hear that, yep. what do you think of? Um, you know what? This, this is kind of crazy to say, um, but I'm glad it happened. I'm glad it happened just because um, you know, even after that game, uh, you know, we were talking and we, we all knew we should have won that game. And, you know, you can play what if, you can say, what if we would have hit that, hit that ball down or, or whatever it may be. But, um, you know, I think that game really gave us confidence in the sense that, you know, we got to capitalize on each and every play. We know how good our team is. Um, and so after that game, you know, we went to the bye. We really reflected a lot on that play. So we talked about it a lot and, and on that game. Um, and we came out of it and we just said, hey, you know, flush it. Um, we're going to do better. We're going to play better. And I think when it's, when it's you know, that last play was, uh, it was crazy. But at, at the same time, you know, Tredavis, Poe, and myself, um, we all took responsibility of it. And I think that it made us better players and it made our team better because of it. You guys got 24 hours to enjoy this. Uh, and obviously, I know it ultimately will be a coaching decision. But when you look at next week, um, obviously, the, you know, the number two seed is still out there for you guys. If you win, you, you've got it. But the argument, you know, maybe will be raised, you know, maybe, you know, rest some guys heading into the postseason. But with how well you guys are playing offensively and defensively, how much do you want to keep things going and just stay on this role that you're on right now going into the postseason? Um, you know, to be honest, I, you know, it's cool to, to get rest. You know, obviously, like, it's like, like a preseason, like a fourth game in the preseason, it's good to get rest, you know, early in the season, blah, blah, blah. But at this time of the year, um, you know, just myself personally, I, I, want, I want to play. I want to play just because um, I got some things I got to work on. Uh, and, and, and you know, even even throughout this game, you know, there's a couple plays I wish I had back. Um, and you know that, you know, playing the NFL, though, the next opponent is going to do those same things against you. Um, so I got some things to work on. So I, I would love to go out there and play. And, um, I'm, I'm all for, you know, resting guys and, and, you know, preparing for the playoffs. But, you know, we're hot right now. And um, like I said, I got some things to work on. Cool. Thanks, Mike. Congrats. Thanks, Jeff.